How are y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel, Live From The End With Jay. So we're gonna answer a very um, specific question that I've been asked a lot, like I mean a lot, okay? Why haven't I manifested my SP yet? Why haven't they come in yet? Why haven't they came in yet? The answer may shock you. Most people think, oh, you haven't manifested your SP yet because your assumptions of them aren't in, the, in alignment, excuse me, with what you want. You know, your self-concept isn't good enough, blah, blah, blah. No, no, because here's the thing. What do we know about manifestation? When you impress the subconscious mind, that is the only requirement toward manifesting what you want, okay? Notice how I said that's the only requirement. It's not you having an amazing self-concept. It's not you having amazing assumptions about them in relation to you, none of that stuff, okay? Those are things that can aid in the process, but the only requirement is you impressing the mind. If you impress the subconscious mind, for example, with being happily married to your person, whatever needs to happen to get you that marriage is what's going to happen. And most likely as part of that bridge of events will incorporate you shifting out your assumptions of them in relation to you, or um, you shifting your self-concept, self-identity overall, okay? If it's taking a while, if it hasn't shown up yet, keyword there yet, it's simply because you're still on your bridge of events when it comes to manifesting your desires, okay? And I know many of you guys are because you've already seen the signs, okay? It even talks about this in the Bible. If you've seen two of the, if you've seen two or more of the same or similar kinds of signs, then it's set in stone. It's a done deal. It's been impressed. It's been impregnated. The seed has been planted. It's only a matter of time before you experience it. So that is literally the reason, the biggest reason, as to why it hasn't happened yet. It's not because your assumptions of them are faulty. Again, it's not because you have an overwhelming amount of resistance. It's not because you have a shitty self-concept. There's none of that. Okay, I want to make that very clear. I know this may seem a little foreign to you because this kind of goes against what a lot of people teach, but I am telling you from experience and the experience of the people that I've talked to, okay, through my perception, even the stories that I've read, even just chatting with other coaches, this is the reason why. All right, so take what resonates, leave the rest, have a beautiful rest of the day and stay safe. Feel free to email me or message me on Instagram for a one-on-one -on -one session. All of that will be posted in the first clip, well, the first uh, message down below.